and we are back. Pokemon Sun, Hardcore Nuzlocke. We're only going to be using Alolan Pokemon in this run, so only Pokemon exclusive to Pokemon Sun and Moon Generation 7. This is going to be our first Hardcore Nuzlocke ever of this game. I've never actually completed this game. I did give it a try a couple months ago, and I failed miserably, so let's see if we can actually make it to the first trial this time around. But it's going to be super enjoyable and really different from our previous runs, so let's give it our best shot. For our starter, we're going to go with the fire type lit in this cute little kitty. I really love all three starters for this game, but we're just going to lock in the cat and see how much he can help us get the job done. All right, our first battle of the game is against our rival. Not quite sure how you say his name. A lot of people pronounce it how or how or something like that. We'll just call him our rival. The ember comes down. It is stab super effective. Rowlet not going to be able to tank more than one or two of those as the little Litten drops back with a second ember and puts down the cute little round owl. And that is our first battle completed. Our route one first encounter is going to be the pick a peck, this little woodpecker guy. And we're going to chuck the Pokeball and secure it. And because I have no clue what these Pokemon are called or how to say them or I'm just not familiar with them, I'm not going to do nicknames for this run. So we're just going to keep it as the normal Pokemon name so I can learn them a lot better. And then for future Sun and Moon runs, we can definitely do the nicknames. It is time to take on our rival for the second time here. He's going to have two Pokemon this time around, not just his chubby owl and the Pichu comes down. We've got our little fire kitty and the woodpecker in the back. So Litten comes down here with a stab ember. It is not super effective, but it's going to do a good chunk of damage right off the top. That does look like a three shot. The charm comes down. Our physical attack is dropped really badly, but we are just fine. No paralysis would be beautiful. Absolutely. Litten doesn't get paralyzed and finishes off the cute little Pichu. Now it's a 1v1 battle between our starters here. Rowlet comes down. The cute chubby owl coming in here to tank a ember. It does hold on above 50% HP. Gets a growl off. Not going to do much though since ember is special attack. The tackle does come down. No, no critical hit there. Beautiful stuff. And one more ember to finish off the fight. So my first attempt at Pokemon Sun a while back, I almost wiped a teacher Emily right here because of her Magnemite. I had the flying grass type with the Rowlet, so it was a little bit scary. The neutral Thundershock's raining down, and we really didn't have a good way of hitting him other than the Picapex Rock Smash, which we were also weak to. But this time, Litten with a stab, super effective Ember is beautiful. We do outspeed and two shot the floating magnet. Good stuff there. And then I do believe she has one more Pokemon we're going to have to deal with here. So we're holding on. Hopefully it's not anything too crazy. It is the Meowth, the Alolan Meowth, which is dark type. So it's going to stab bite right here with a stupid fast speed stab. But we get a critical hit Ember that leaves with a burn, which is fantastic. And now we can just safely pivot into our Woodpecker and don't even have to worry about a crit through that burn. The 50% damage reduction doing wonders here. And it keeps the little Woodpecker safe. Meowth is still alive though, the burn wasn't enough to take it down and we're just going to fade away with a super effective rock smash, assuming we don't get flinched there and we don't and the little woodpecker for the win. We clear teacher Emily and we are making our way to that first trial. For our Haoli city or shopping district encounter, it is going to be the Alolan Rattata, also a dark type in this game. We chuck the Pokeball and secure it and keep moving forward. It is now time to take on the trainer that had me wiped last time. Captain Lima, I believe is how you pronounce that. I actually lost to her Smeargle that has a super effective move on your rival. I had no clue what I was getting myself into, but now we have the Rattata with a really nice speed stat and a stab bite since it is the dark type. Beautiful stuff here. The only downside is that this Rattata has Hustle, a very, very poor ability in my opinion as it buffs your attack, but it drops your accuracy, which is just brutal. But thankfully, the Rattata can see through that and it lands all of its bites and takes out the Yongoose. Smeargle does come down here and is going to move in with a stab tackle and it almost one shots the Rattata, but we return with a fadeaway critical, absolutely ridiculous stuff. Nobody had to die, and now I believe it is time for the first trial. There may potentially be a first encounter in between. Who knows? 
for our Route 2 encounter. It is the Alolan Meowth, also very fast with a dark typing on top. And for its passive ability, it has Technician, which buffs lower powered moves like Fake Out or even Bite since it's not above 60 power, which is just beautiful since it also has the Stab. So I'm really looking forward to using this Meowth and potentially Persian as I rarely use either of them. All right, we've made it through the bulk of the first trial, and now it caps off with the totem battle. It is going to be the big, beefy gumshoes or goomshoes. We're just going to call them the ace here, as we're going to have to take on this totem Pokemon who has the defensive aura, meaning its defense is going to be buffed, and it also gets support from another Pokemon. So it's essentially going to be a 2v1. So ridiculous stuff. For this first obstacle of the run, the fake out comes down. We're just going to chip the ace off the top there with a little bit of damage. But really, we're going to be leaning into that speed stat that Meowth has available. And we're going to go for these stab bites on top of Technician, which buffs that damage. And that is some good damage. But the scary face is now going to get rid of our potential flinch lock that we were going for. And we're going to have to eat a stab tackle from the little Yongoose, the little guy on the side here as well. So I don't think we're going to be able to make it out of here without losing at least one Pokemon as a double leer comes down. And now our defense is completely shot. Thankfully, we do bring the ace below 50% HP, which makes me feel a little bit better about our chances. But somebody's going to have to swap into potentially two damaging moves. We're going to get Meowth out of there. We swap into our other a lowland dark type the bite comes down we do tank that but a stab tackle from the side is going to bring us all the way to ahp we have a really good speed stat potentially we will be able to outspeed both of these pokemon we're going all in on a flinch or a crit or something on the ace here the goom shows the big boy but with that defensive stat, I don't know if we're going to be able to do much more than that. We go in for the bite. We do do massive damage and the scary face comes down. So we probably won't outspeed the next turn. But it doesn't matter as Rattata is going to be our first casualty as the little supportive Yungoose or Yongoose takes out our rat. But Meowth comes back in on a clean swap now. Can get a reset fake out onto the ace, which is going to be really nice here. However, we're going to have to tank something from the side here. The tackle does come down. It is stab. Brings us to 14 HP. But I do believe we can finish off the ace with a stab bite. We are so fast with the Alolan Meowth. Ridiculous stuff. Now, can we survive whatever this little guy does? It is another stab tackle. And we survive at 7 HP. So somebody's going to have to swap into a stab tackle as well to keep Meowth safe. The piggyback comes down and can barely tank that tackle. My God, we're at 8 HP, but I think we are faster. The Brick Break is super effective. Super, I can't even talk. The Brick Break is super effective and takes down the tiny little otter. My gosh, these totem battles are going to be absolutely insane throughout this entire run, but I'm so glad we made it out with only losing the Rattata. So super proud of the team there. And now we are going to make our way to the second trial in the next video. As always, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. And I will catch you on the flip. Peace.